Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'll be talking with you guys about the top Chrome flags that you can use on your devices, which will enhance your overall browsing experience. I'm an avid user of Google Chrome and I really like Google Chrome browser. You can use the experimental not yet released features from Google by accessing the Chrome flags tab. You have to just type Chrome colon double slash flags. So these are certain experimental features which will be shown. As you can see, there is a list of a lot of experimental features. The first important Chrome flag that we will enable today is the smooth scrolling. If there are any stutters in your browsing experience on your Google Chrome devices, it may be because of a website being not optimized properly. It may be because of certain hardware issues. There is a feature called smooth scrolling, which you can enable in order to make sure that you will get a smoother scrolling experience on all the web pages. So smooth scrolling is something. So can you see smooth scrolling is available over here. You just click on enable. And when you click on enable, it will say it is enabled now. It will actually improve the animations and the page scrolling speed in order to give you a fantastic experience when you are scrolling the pages. And yes, this is my LG Wing if you guys have noticed it and I've still been using it and it is fantastic and I use it for making videos and taking certain B-rolls etc. So coming back to the video, so let's click on relaunch and the Google Chrome will be launched successfully and the smooth scrolling will be enabled. The second important Chrome flag that I really enjoy is about the force dark mode. So for Force dark mode what happens is it forces the dark mode on all the web pages even though the web page is not built for dark mode i really like dark mode so i use force dark mode on my web pages so as you can see automatically render all web contents using a dark mode on mac os on windows on linux on chrome os etc so let's click on this and there are a lot of options so there is an option which can say enabled and there is an option which says selective inversion of everything wherever the inversion is available it will just invert that and let's say you open any article let's say this was not uh, meant to be built on dark mode it will check which are the images that is there and it will you know invert the images and render the entire web page in dark mode and it looks fantastic guys there are a lot of articles which i you know keep reading which is not built on dark mode and the entire article is coming on dark mode which is fantastic i really love this feature and i have been using this feature for a very long time the third chrome flag that is very important when you are downloading files is about the parallel downloading so when you are downloading large files instead of sequential downloading like one by one it will help you to download the files in parallel which will accelerate the download speeds and this is actually possible on all the devices that is mentioned over here windows linux chrome os android fuchsia so let's click on enabled and let's relaunch google chrome and as you can see the google chrome chrome flag for the parallel downloading is also enabled the fourth chrome flag that i really like is using the google chrome's autofill engine if you have been using google account for a long time you know there is a service called google autofill in the account section there is something called as password manager which uses google's autofill technology in order to give the password for specific website which you are trying to log in nobody likes filling forms right so what google makes is it makes this process a little bit simple using the autofill predictions it will automatically help you to fill form information no matter what website you are presenting so let's go to autofill over there there is an option called show autofill prediction it says annotate web forms with autofill field type predictions as placeholder text so if you are you know if you are filling up any form based on the data that is present on your google account it will try to autofill that information for you so let's click on enabled over there and when you try to fill any form now let's say you are filling up a form which has name email id phone number company name company email id and different different contents right and it will try to automatically show the predictions and fill the web forms as a placeholder text so based on that information you can go ahead and make your form filling process simple another important chrome flag is regarding the need for authentication when you switch to incognito window there is this chrome flag which says enable device re authentication for incognito a setting page appears in settings and privacy and security to enable re-authentication for your existing incognito tab so here when you go to settings and when we go to privacy and security as you can see it says lock incognito uh, tabs when you leave chrome so when you click on this one it will ask you for device fingerprint and when you go to google chrome again and when you try to open incognito window it will ask unlock incognito window 
So this is a very cool feature. You are browsing something on incognito window and suddenly you go home and you want to give the phone to someone else. And when they try to open this one, it will ask to unlock incognito window. And without your password, you can't unlock incognito window. One more incognito related Chrome flag is regarding the allowance of incognito screenshots. So if you are on older versions of Android, then this will be really helpful. So if you're a newer version of Android, it will be automatically ignored as it is mentioned here. When you enable incognito screenshot, it will be helpful to take screenshots in incognito mode as well. So let me relaunch the chrome so that is pretty much it for this video guys these are the certain list of chrome flags which i really like and would like to experiment on a regular basis there might be certain chrome flags which i have mentioned in the video which might come to you know the normal or the full version or the public version of the google chrome also so depending on when you watch the video some of the flags might exist some of the flags might not exist because the flags keep getting updated on a very regular basis save this url for yourself and keep checking this url and you will see a lot of different features you can experiment it for yourself that is pretty much it for this video guys thanks for watching subscribe to the channel